Hello everyone and welcome back to Journal de Sylvie. Today I'm going to share with you my semi-annual update for my 2021 planner and um, this will include um, moving to a new weekly insert um, with um, transferring certain things and retiring others. I'm also going to have a quick update for my monthly and checking my journal if it requires any sticker refill. So let's start by the um, weekly insert. I'll put this aside and I will bring the old one to compare because I think comparing between them is the best demo. So um, this is the old one over here and I did buy this in October and as you can see the first change I made is the theme of the cover decoration. Um, over here you know sometimes your mood follows the season or the time of the year um, I had more of an art touch um, however this time of the year I moved into more of a traveling adventure exploring uh, mood and I used the stickers that um, came with Traveler's Notebook from the 2020 collection I perfectly don't mind using a theme from last year because I follow the vibes of the particular um, time I'm doing the insert so um, that was the theme with um, some travel theme a little bit of music and um, a camera a coffee and so so I use that for the cover decoration and I added two stickers from different sources that's the first difference I also kept the concept of decorating the uh, cover page um, I still keep the label that um, refers to what type of insert this is, which is the weekly plus memo, uh, free diary, which means is not dated. Um, another thing, um, I changed the theme of the decoration from art to more of um, adventure and exploring, as you can see. And the also, I took this spread, the same... Um, content I will have but different theme which here was more of sketching some cherry blossom and adding some um, year yearly goals and maybe a code I'll use this for the same purpose but with different theme decorated differently I use that sticker from the collection of 2021 which came uh, which came with a traveler's notebook uh, insert um, and it says uh, with books and your traveler's notebook you can travel anywhere at any time 2021 so can't agree more and I also added a um, small touch of art stamps and a vintage air balloon I also um, went and continued with the concept of adding the highlights of our year events like if it's a musical or a art exhibition or maybe a highlighted outing it's nice to uh, go ahead and look at it at the rest of the year and see what are the nice places we visited I have all the way to September nothing planned yet for the last quarter of the year and that's pretty much it in terms of um, continue using compared to the old weekly the main difference um, between this one and the um, current weekly is that this weekly insert was uh, driven by time I was committed to the week which is the layout because I already bought two um, the layout it contains so um, but the main change is that I realized that my day-to-day -day tasks are all related to my secular full-time job which I run through my electronic calendar because it's associated with online meetings and we are all committed to so really and truly my planner is for me and nothing to do with my day-to-day -day secular tasks from eight to five uh, it has to do with my personal goals my health my traveling my creative work related to journaling my home projects my own productivity so having said so i don't really need to go by time necessarily i need to go more by topic and label those spreads in certain way that helps me to go back to it so let me do you a quick um, flip through for a demo so we're leaving this out of the picture now and we move along so first of all I created a spread and I used a label um, 
important and I got this from the labels that also come as a package with your traveler's notebook and they have a bunch of uh, large and small size monthly labels but I also have some labels uh, named travel information list memo so I try to um, use this to find quickly my spreads so the first one is for references this sticker here and this one are not there I'm just putting them for now to conceal some information but what I'm trying to say is um, I created this spread with the theme of London as you can see and I don't want to be running through my planner trying to find where is this information so I will dedicate this spread and I will label it as important for any quick references I'm trying to find that worked another spread I dedicate for the upcoming trip and this is where you can add your terminals, your car rental, your e-ticket number. I actually have our ticket here. You can put it in an envelope and tag it. And this is, of course, for one trip. If you have another trip, you have plenty of pages to label another trip. But I dedicated that spread for the topic of travel. And I also, a travel comes with a travel list. So this, is, this spread is for a shopping list things I need to buy before my trip and also for things I need to do so it's a shopping list and a to-do list which I will fill today and then I have a spread and I labeled it as memo and not sure if it's the most relevant label but um, I will remember and I dedicated this for my projects now if you notice what type of projects if you see here I use the two stickers with um, a journal and a book and I took this from the collection that Traveler's Notebook offer you. They have a sticker with a, a journal and another one with a book. So this is for my journaling projects, ideas, things I need to journal about, basically for Journal de Sylvie. But I'm planning to create another spread for home projects and another spread for um, physical and mental health, right? And And for my schedule and my type of job, I came to realize I will be more focused and more motivated, more productive if I go per topic and not necessarily by day-to-day -day tasks, especially that I have a full-time job. Now, what if you have a dentist appointment? What if you have a particular uh, time-related appointment? I will show you how to handle this in your monthly. Uh, very well. So that's pretty much for the weekly. As I mentioned, I still have to create one spread for health and one for home project and so on. Uh, the very end, uh, the weekly spread they offer you is space where you can add personal information. Depends how comfortable you are to do this. I decorated this with more stickers and I added here what uh, what they call a transparent um, film pocket sticker. You see, this comes with the stickers and they have a small demo, um, kind of to inspire you how to use this um, um, in your planner and how can those little stickers help you to be more productive or remind you with stuff. So they call this film pocket sticker, which is a transparent ticket. I keep some post-it for appointments and uh, to-do list because I don't want to carry the entire box of that with me. And the, the film pocket looks like this. Depends on the theme of every year. So that's pretty much for the weekly. And the main change is the um, moving more per based topic based than time based. Okay, so for the monthly, which of course the monthly you don't have to buy two per year because it includes the entire year. As a matter of fact, it starts from um, December 2020 and it gives you all the way to January 2022 okay uh, this monthly insert doesn't allow you to customize a whole lot because it's already dated it's already um, the layout is there so if you want to see real quick a year at a glance another uh, year divided by weeks and then washi tapes usually work very well with monthly inserts, any stickers. Again, anything that makes you happy. This was April and, um, and this is May, or half May, which is now. 
Now, um, if you have this one divided per topic and not necessarily day by day, you can use this day-to-day -day tasks uh, in your monthly layout. So if you have appointments, I mean, it can take a few, few lines here. If it goes more than this, then maybe the topic concept won't work for you and you should go um, have an entire spread for this entire week. But if not, and it's just about appointments, this can work perfect for you. Now, I never, I don't remember if I ever did a flip through for the entire insert, in case you are interested in buying this. They offer you at the very end some capitals and time zones across the globe, um, unit conversion tables. They have this space for travel plan where you can um, log your dates and places you visit. It will be nice to look at it when you, at the end of the year. Um, then they offer you like very few blank pages. I don't remember why I added all those film pockets here, but anyway, they are from the collection of 2021 and they are slots to add cards or maybe appointment cards, anything. And then at the very end, um, again, the same uh, spread where you can add your personal information, you can decorate the cover, um, the way you like, this is the same. So this is the main changes and this is the how I'm gonna move forward the rest of the year. And by the way, now that this is more topic based and not time based, um, this will allow you and it's not dated, like they don't, you are not committed to a certain year, you can go with this all the way to 2022, I believe, because you're not strictly dating everything. If you are, then this will last six months. That's how they designed it. Now let's move, I'll put this aside for a moment and I'll go to my the journal itself and see if I require any refill for that. So this doesn't change. I have my zipper pouch over here and it's empty. I probably need to refill it with some labels. I usually keep one or two sheets. Oh, that's easy. Maybe one oval, one rectangular. Yeah, what do you think? Okay, that sounds good. So I usually keep this here. It's nice to decorate my spread. I also have a couple of stickers here, very generic, you know, like numbers and a, and a map. And they don't take place, so I leave this here as well. That's the refill I will do. In the pocket slots here, pictures, craft, same. I just want to add this washi tape, which is again travel theme, map, stamps and train ticket that would work. I don't want more because it's gonna, I don't want it too puffy now. And this I will leave empty so I can add, you know, things if needed. Um, family album, the craft envelope, let me see if this requires some refill. So over here I keep the stickers, as I mentioned, the package that comes with the traveler's notebook. Um, I have plenty of this still. This is the labels that, that I mentioned, large and small size of month labels. Um, I'm not planning to use this anymore because I already have it in my monthly for the rest of the year. So that's okay. I do, and the weekly I don't need because as I mentioned, I'm going more for per topic and per project, not per time. But I'm going to keep this for the sake of the other labels, travel list, information and so on. So that doesn't need to be. This one's still going good. I don't need to refill it. I, yeah, I have plenty. So let me see if I need to add anything from this collection. Yeah, I can add this one, which is the transfer stickers, alphabetic and numerical. Time to use this. I'll just leave it here, you know. Why not? So that doesn't require refill anymore. Over here, my clear folder still have the stamps that I'm using. Oh, and I, I always say this, I keep a couple of pages blank blank or grid or whatever or dotted to cover any mistakes you never know it's just and this um, plastic folder is the same I'm still okay with this writing board um, I keep here uh, some pictures and ephemera that kind of makes me happy or inspires me in any way and I'm still okay with that vintage industrial theme this one I may need to update because let me see what I have here 
I have my picture here in my neighborhood in Greece. I still have this envelope and I'm fine with it. They are always useful. Let me put it behind the picture. This one, yeah, I wanted to change this one. This one is um, some mini postcards uh, that I have. And this is from, I guess, in Anne with an E from Green Gables. This was a one when she's with her journal or book. I thought it was nice, but it's time to change the mood. Oh yeah, I, I kept those on the top because I, need, I knew that I want to change to those two. She's like kind of looking up at the moon and this one on the top of a house and both very inspiring. Again, the, the, um, the reason why you keep small things, small cards, whatever, is something that inspires you, motivates you, makes you happy, makes you more productive, that doesn't just follow what you like. And over here, I have another one. Um, and this reminds me with me and my sister, because we usually like to travel together. So this is kind of nice. I'll, I'm still okay to have this here. And my medieval card looking from Shakespeare novel, The Tempest. I still love it. So now that I don't need to do any further refills, time to add the inserts, right? So my weekly goes between the craft envelope. You just open it in the middle, lift this up, push it. Here we go. Perfect. And it, I like the way it looks. And for the monthly, I keep it in between my kind of fabric zipper pouch. Again, open in the middle as soon as we find it. <laughs> and we lift this up and push it here. Perfect. You can see, you can see the labels from here the entire year, the topics, and remember you can add more tabs, um, you can customize the tabs for um, different type of topics. As I mentioned, I need to add home projects, um, spread for health, for personal goals, and so on. Right? And that's pretty much it. So I think my journal is, my planner, is um, ready for the rest of the year, including the travel plans. I'm excited to use it. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'm sorry if I took too long. I will not be sharing any weekly spreads uh, because I'm not going to do any, uh, but I am probably going to share with you every quarter an update or a flip through for um, continuous improvement. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and happy journaling.